uses a single player stasis chamber using a Frostwalker armor stand that always freezes only when you rejoin the world. So effectively, your relog becomes a button you can press from anywhere. Like for example, if we TP mid blocks away, as long as our stasis chamber is in spawn chunks, we will always get teleported from anywhere in the world. So the alternative method would be using a fishing rod. Um, I'll, I'll show who the trick is by on screen, but this has the main disadvantage that you have to unload that area and never go back. But this is more convenient as just an everyday switch you can use whenever in a single player world. But we are going to staircase down here and then we're going to dig nine more blocks. One, two, three, eight, nine. Then from the end, we're going to go down one, and this will give us the ability to place down a downwards facing dispenser. You can see the face here. We're going to place another observer that's pointing this way. And then on that, we are going to place a four tick redstone repeater. And then on here, we're going to place our sticky piston, and we're going to make our water source here gonna place a smooth stone slab and then we're gonna put our frost walker on it so from here we dig down two this will allow us to place a downwards facing dispenser we're gonna dig ourselves out here with a staircase place down a weighted pressure plate and extend the redstone signal to two and then from there we are going to place our two torches and now the redstone mechanism is done. Now we just need to add the stasis chamber itself. So we are going to dig down seven blocks. Pull her up on one soul sand. Place the water at the top. And then just kelp to make all of these source blocks. Place our trapdoor. And now we can hang our pearl. And that's the whole stasis chamber. When I re-log... You're going to see that an arrow gets shot. Oh, well, duh. You need to actually place the arrows in there. My bad. But you'll see that now the stasis chamber is done. The way to use the stasis chamber is just to relog twice within a minute. The whole reason that an arrow is used rather than an item is just because of how an arrow despawns after one minute. So a golden pressure plate just counts the entities on it. So we essentially need to trigger this twice before one of the arrows despawn, which is about a minute as compared to items. So that means in case you like accidentally crash or you head off for the night, you're not gonna end up ac accidentally teleporting back to base. So this puts you in control of when you activate your stasis chamber. Like if I want to teleport now. Alright, and thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one.